Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for some Junk Wax Era basketball cards. We'll be looking at the 10 most expensive that sold on eBay in the last week. You got a pretty awesome top 10 here for you, plus a nice set of bonus listings at the end. You definitely don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. Criteria for the list is up on the screen. We won't waste any more time and get right into the good stuff. All right, welcome to the Jordan Show. We're going to start things off from 1993 Fleer Ultra with the Michael Jordan Power in the Key insert, grade the Mint BGS9, so for $710. Subgrades were 10 for centering, 9 for corners and surface, and an 8.5 for edges. It's a pop of 128 in a mint slab, and there are 8 higher graded Gem Mint BGS 9.5s. So mint PSA 9 sell for over $800. This one here is getting pretty close to that. I think that subgrade of 10 for centering probably helps the price. These power in the key inserts were inserted one in 37 packs of series two boxes and boxes of 93 ultra series two sell for around 180 to $250. Those boxes have came down a little bit here in the last little while. So that's actually not too bad. In the number 9 spot from 1995 Skybox EXL, we have the Michael Jordan Natural Born Thrillers insert graded in mint PSA 9. This car is sold for $711. It's a pop of 139 in a mint slab and there are 51 higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. These Natural Born Thrillers inserts are inserted into hobby and retail packs at a rate of 1 in 48 packs. And boxes of 1995 Skybox EXL sell for around $700 to $800. In the number 8 spot from 1994 Skybox Emotion, we have the Michael Jordan Intense Insert graded Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $730. It's a pop of 388 in a Gem Mint slab. These Intense Inserts were inserted 1 in 18 packs in boxes of 1994 Skybox Emotion, sell so for around $385 to $450. In the number 7 spot from 1992 Topps Archives, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card Gold, graded a gem in PSA 10, so for $850. It's a pop of only 154 in the gem in slab, and these Shaq Gold Parallels are only available in the 92 Topps Archives Gold Factory sets. They're not available in any of the boxes. So the gold factory sets sell for around $200 to $350. In the number 6 spot from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan graded Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $933. Pop of this card in the Gem Mint slab is $1,072, and boxes of 89 Fleer are still quite high, around $540 to $700. In the number 5 spot from 1994 Topps Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor with Coating, graded a mint PSA 9, sold for $940. 94 Finest is off the excluded sets list because the boxes came down quite a bit. This is a pop of 609 in a mint slab and there are 147 higher graded gem in PSA 10s. So Jordan can be found in Series 2 boxes in 94 Finest, and those have recently sold for around $550 to $650. I've added this to the list in the description below, so if you're interested in looking into these 94 Finest boxes, down in the description there's eBay affiliate links that take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes in the top 10, plus ones from our previous videos. So if you want to do some shopping, check those out. In the number 4 spot, we're going back to 1989 Fleer, this time for the Michael Jordan All-Star Sticker, graded Gem Mint PSA 10. This sticker sold for $3,550. The base card has a pop of over 1000 almost 1100 The sticker has a PSA 10 pop of only 83 Much harder to find these in Gem Mint condition. As mentioned before, those boxes of 89 Fleer sell for $540 to $700. All right, let's see what we have in the top three. First up, from 1995 Fleer Ultra, we have a Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded gem in PSA 10. This car is over $5,600. In the 
It's a pop of only seven in a gem mint slab. That's a record sale from the PSA's website, as far as I can tell. The previous high was $646 from February of 2017. This is actually the first sale of one of these since 2018 on PSA's website. So these were inserted into Series 2 boxes at a rate of 1 in 24 packs. And boxes of 1995 Fleer Ultra Series 2 sell for around $120 to $160. In the number 2 spot, we're going to stick with 1995 Fleer Ultra, this time for the Michael Jordan Gold Medallion Parallel Graded Gem in PSA 10. This car sold for $5,701. It's a pop of 24 in a gem mint slab. That's a record sale. Previous high was $3,227 from May of 2021. And these gold medallion parallels were inserted one per pack in first series packs. They discontinued it for the second series. So it's only in series one. And boxes of 1995 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $220 to $250. And topping the list this week in the number one spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra with the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert, the original Scoring Kings, graded a gem in PSA 10, sold for $10,100. That's the lowest price for one of these in a gem in slab since early 2021 before things got crazy. It's a pop of 97. The record was $29,600 from May of 2021. And the Scoring Kings inserts were inserted into Series 1 boxes at a rate of 1 in 36 packs, so they're box hits. And those boxes of 93 Ultra Series 1 sell for around 300 to 450 bucks. Alright, that's it for our Top 10 this week. Time to take a look at our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index. So for the week, basketball is actually up again, up to 78.5. So we're trending off our low of 76.5 from two weeks ago. We're up 2% from that, so that's not too bad. Compared to what we're indexing against here, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ and Bitcoin were, all three of them were down a bit this week. Basketball index made up of 50 cards. Those 50 cards spanning 1989 to 1996. Got a pretty awesome list there. So the weekly summary, we had 18 cards increase their prices. 14 were neutral, didn't have any changes. And 18 for a decrease. So that's down from last week and more cards that increased our prices so that led us to our little bit of our increase in our index which is nice to see compared to the other three major sports football is still in the lead it's actually back up over 100 again uh, hockey actually dropped a bit and baseball was up a bit this week which put it in that second spot as mentioned previously I put these indexes together and I track them week to week automatically using the market movers app it's a pretty awesome tool you can track all your collections in there and they got a bunch of other features as well that are very useful if you want to check it out there's a link in the description box below and use the code jwi and you get your first month of your subscription for only a buck all right let's get in some bonus cards first up from 1995 signature rookies we have a kareem abdul jabbar on card autograph number to only 105 and raw condition is sold for a steal at 81 dollars I can't imagine these were a pretty easy pull. I mean, they're quite rare, numbered only 105. And to have a Kareem on-card auto for 81 bucks, I think that was a good buy. From 1992 tops, we have Alonzo Mourning's rookie card gold parallel graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold for a steal at $65.69. It's criminal that these are selling for such low prices. As a pop of only 132 in a gem mint slab for the gold parallel. This is the lowest sale since March of 2020. They're typically been selling for over 100 bucks, 100 to 120 dollars, and that's even way down from what they were selling for last year. And I think they're a great buy, a great deal. Pop of only 132. From 1993 Fleer Jam Session with a Michael Jordan base card graded gem in PSA 10 sold for $425. That's the second highest sale, close to the record of $495 from October of 2021. And it's a pop of only $39 in a gem in slab. These Jam Session cards, I don't think if they were pulled from packs years ago, they didn't last very long because I don't know about you guys, but I never had the tall sleeves to put these in to protect them and they always got dinged corners and messed up in my boxes and stuff there was no easy way to store these things so i think all the pop reports are pretty low for these cards 
Up next, we got a pretty awesome law here. This is a 1993 Upper Deck All Stars SE die cut. You get the full 30 card set, so both East and West in raw condition for $474. So as I mentioned before, it's a 30 card set, so there are 15 East All-Stars and 15 West All-Stars. They were inserted one in 30 packs, so a pretty rare insert to, compared, or at least in those days. And it's a loaded set, no no Jordan, but you got a Penny Hardaway rookie card here. You got Dominic Wilkins, you got Alonzo Mourning, Scotty Pippen, Isaiah Thomas, Patrick Ewan, you got Shaq, Dikembe Mutombo, Chris Weber rookie card. Akeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, David Robinson, Sean Kemp, and Carl Malone, and others too. Wow, that's a loaded set. I think this was a pretty good pickup for this one. From 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Dikembe Mutombo Fanimation card graded gem in PSA 10, so for $305. The record for this card is actually $500 from March of 2021, but I'm a huge fan of these Fanimation cards. It was such a cool idea of Upper Deck in the and back in 92. This one here in a gem in PSA 10 slab is a pop of only 15. From 1995 Upper Deck Racing, we have the Michael Jordan Championship Pit Crew graded gem in PSA 10, so for $95.99. Here's a low pop Upper Deck Jordan card for you. It's a racing issue, but you know what? He kind of makes his way in a bunch of other sets, so not too surprised on this one. It's a pop of only 10 in a gem in slab. The record sale was $198 from July of 2021, so I think this might have been a pretty good buy. And there's also a silver signature version and a gold signature parallel out there as well, so keep an eye out for those if you're a Jordan collector. From 1992 Hoops, we have the Magic Johnson Retirement Card. This is on-card autographed. It has a certification stamp on it as well in raw condition, so for $202.50. So these were pack pulled, limited to only a thousand. And I looked it up. There's this card, and there's a Patrick Ewing autograph card. They were inserted into Series One packs, and apparently, so apparently the odds of pulling either a Patrick Ewing or this Magic Johnson on card auto were rate or were one in fourteen thousand four hundred packs. That's a lot of packs and ninety two hoops. From 1994 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, we have the Jason Kidd Rookie Card Gold Signature graded to Mint PSA 9, so for $127.50. I think that was actually a good buy for a Mint copy. It's a pop of only 8, and there's only two higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s. These gold signatures were inserted 1 in 36 packs, so they were box hits. However, there was a copy or a parallel of the whole complete set, so if you're going after the Jason Kidd, you're ripping a lot of boxes the last sale of a psa 9 was 25 dollars from july of 2018 and the psa 8 sold for 140 dollars in january of 2021 so not too many of these come up for sale very often i think that was a good buy from 1994 skybox emotion we have a lot of intense inserts there's a, actually four of them However, I only have the picture of the Carl Malone because the seller, I think, did himself a disservice here and had a confusing listing with not very good pictures. So this was actually a lot of four. However, it only showed a picture of the Carl Malone. But when you read the descriptions, it said that it was a bulk lot in the title. And then if you go down further in the description, you actually had to read that it had four copies of the intense inserts. You got Carl Malone, PSA 10, Sean Kemp. PSA 10, Glenn Robinson, which is rookie year, PSA 10, and the Patrick Ewing in a gem mint. So you had four PSA 10 intense inserts. These are inserts 1 in 18 packs, and it went for $556. So pretty good deal there. The Malone is a pop of 21. Kemp is a pop of 24. The Glenn Robinson is a pop of only 11, and that's a rookie year. And they last sale for that one of those was $350 just for itself. And Ewing was a pop of 19, but they didn't show pictures of any of those other three. It was just the picture of the Carl Malone. And you had to actually read it. So I think somebody got a great deal on this lot. And we're going to finish it up with a pretty awesome lot here. I'm definitely jealous on this one. It's a 1995 action packed. You have the Hall of Fame autograph cards. This is a master set. All of them authenticated by Beckett or PSA. So you get all 40 cards and it's sold for $1,600, so 40 bucks a card. 
So these 95 action packed Hall of Fame cards, each box actually contained one autograph redemption card that were randomly inserted. So those redemption cards now would definitely be expired. But you got just a awesome selection of 40 basketball Hall of Famers here. Just the Bill Russell itself is limited to 500, I believe, according to Beckett. And it sells for $600 plus just by itself. And you got 39 other autographed Hall of Famers here. So I think that was a, an amazing lot. Pretty awesome to see. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.